you will not be able to solve climate change with the current money system. You will not be able to address the unemployment within the current money system. The whole global economy cannot be sustained. It requires infinite growth. But infinite growth collides with finite energy. We will all contribute to our downfall unless we summon the national will to act. We've known about and ignored most of this stuff for years. We have arrived at a moment in our evolution where we have to make a choice. What does it mean to look in the face of a world that seems to be going rapidly in the wrong direction and say, no, we're going to switch course and I'm going to make it happen. The contemporary internet and the tools that make it up give us an immense opportunity to reorganize almost any aspect of our own lives. And we can work together in ways that ask a deeper question about the role of government. There's a whole new model that's emerging where we become part of the government. This is a very profound change. I'm not talking about people lobbying outside parties influencing government. I'm talking about unbundling and reconstituting what is a government. A revolution doesn't happen when society adopts new tools. It happens when society adopts new behaviors. This is really a crisis, not just the financial markets and wanted spending and too much credit. It's a tectonic crisis that's associated with the rise of a new economic order. Or a better way to put it, how do we organize ourselves without organizations? That's now possible. You don't need an organization to be organized. You're going to see the movement inexorably towards peer-to-peer -to -peer finance. People will trade individually and independently among each other all around the world instantly and digitally. It's going to happen. There's no denying it. And then I believe that we can all create a world we all want where happiness does not cost the earth.